们是华造自行车联盟，今天是我们活动的最后一天，我们将带领。咁、啊、我哋呢次咧系最后一次骑踩单车嘅活动啦。我哋是啊，所以我哋呢个呢项嘅 bicycles， 就是 cyclists in El Barrio de Chinatown。Y a los Zaira, y hoy tenemos la última, bueno, la última actividad. Vamos a hacer una guía de todos los barrios aquí. I'm Rochelle, and I've been the program coordinator for Local Spokes, and I've been working with all these great teenagers for the last seven weeks. One day, we were sitting in class, and we asked them what the one thing they wanted to share with everybody was when we were getting ready to do this tour today. And one of the kids said, I learned that people can get together, work together, and make things change. And it's a, the surprise, like a pleasant surprise, about how much they've learned and how much they've been able to articulate what they've learned, uh -huh. which is uh, surprising and, but I guess also impressive too, that in such a short period of time, um, I'm sure if you, as you'll hear from the tour, they're quite, um, Articulate about talking about issues about urban planning, urban design, and cycling in the city and public space as well. Um, one thing that we learned was how like how to change a tire, like a flat tire on a bike. Uh -huh. And like since then, I just wanted to run around. So, like I know how to fix your flat tire. Let me fix it for you. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. My name is Nimi. I learned how to make stencils for our local sports logo. Uh -oh. Uh, ABC check is basically to check your brakes. A is for the air in your tire, and um, the C is for your chain and your crank. Make sure it's not loose or anything. Okay. Always want to check your tires, make sure it's not flat, and check your brakes that it's not going all the way over here. Hey everyone, in case you didn't know, this is Pier 42. As you can see, it is completely useless right now. But before, this pier used to, was used to import and export goods, but now no one uses it anymore. So we are trying to make the city turn it into a public space slash park, and like a basketball court, a tennis court, and different types of um, things that people can use. Um, we're at East, East River Park. Um, the park was made after the FDR Drive was built. Um, Robert Moses built this park because he didn't want the land to go to waste. Um, East River Park is 50 acres um, long and um, is made by extra landfill that was used to make the FDR drive. What do you see in the park? <laughs> uh, mostly kids and um, a, lot, a lot of people um, come to play sports, jog, they ride bike and they do a lot of fishing. It's, it's interesting that Robert Moses built a highway next to the neighborhood and built a park next to that, but the highway is like a wall between the neighborhood and the park. Slowing! So the Youth Ambassadors designed this entire tour. They picked out all the stops they wanted to stop at and what they wanted to say it at each stop. Okay, so we're in public housing right now. I'm Corey, again. Hi. Um, we learned during one of the uh, one of the sessions that there are four kinds of housing around here there's a uh, public housing there's section 8 there's rent regulated and then there's market rate yeah i i live in public housing uh it's important to me it's a safe haven if public housing didn't exist we'd have to we'd have to live in another state something about how so um, right now we're standing in um, Thompson Square Park. Uh, this the history of the park is really unique. The land that we're actually standing on was once a salt marsh. Okay, so you guys might have noticed that coming here on the floor there's paint that has an arrow and two arrows, and then there's a person on a bike, and that sh that means that it's a shared lane, so both cars and bikes can go on the street. But where we're going out, we're going to 2nd Avenue, and that's a protective bike lane. So the type of bike lanes that Devil mentioned, like shared bike lanes, um, protected bike lanes, can all be found on the bike map. And what else can be found on the bike map is other bike-friendly places like the greenways that we just came off of. This map is from 2011. This is the most recent map. And you can see that it has a whole lot of bike lanes and a lot of things that are highlighted and this map is from 2002 and 
it's not that many bike lanes. There's like about four or five of them. <laughs> so are you glad that during this program we've had all these new bike lanes to ride on? Yeah, because I don't think if, if Manhattan still looked like this today, I don't think it would be very safe to be riding in the streets. <laughs> Valen Street is eventually going to become a separated greenway, but what they're doing is they're actually rebuilding the pedestrian malls and turning them into green space and creating the uh, turning the bike lane into a greenway where there will be plants in between the street and the bike lane. So we've been working with kids mapping where they've been, what they've seen, and what they'd like to see here in the neighborhood. They have a lot of really good ideas about mobility, where they want to go in the future, and how they want to get there. Today we're giving away free bikes, free kid bikes. We're also offering bikes for sale. Oh, we're teaching children how to, learn how to ride their bikes, and it's just fabulous. Are you learning? Yeah. I'm Who would have thought? Simple thing of taking your pedals off and balancing. I want to see it, okay? But you're gonna try. And where you, where are your eyes gonna be? Where are your eyes gonna be? Front. Straight ahead. Okay. I'm yeah. learning my first day. Really? Yeah. So you're doing pretty good. Okay. You got it. You got it. I love riding. I just learned, but I'm loving it. I feel free. I feel like I'm able to go wherever I want to go when I want to go. Like my sister's learning to ride a bike. That's Hopefully, awesome. I'll be able to ride with my little sister now. I think what ultimately is the, the greatest thing about the Local Spokes Youth Ambassadors program is that these um, teenagers that we're working with never actually get to have this conversation about you know how their neighborhood looks, how their neighborhood feels, what's in their neighborhood, or even even realize that, um, that they have a voice in that process. So we've been doing some research over at Green Map to help Local Spokes get into the visioning sessions. Yep, and um, next time maybe we'll see more seniors. I think it's important for all ages to bike, and um, it's good for the environment and for people. You know, we all know that the kids have learned a lot um, in all the work that they've done this, this summer, um, but now we're in a shift where the youth will be able to um, do internships at each of the respective uh, coalition organizations. The youth ambassadors uh, will do just that. They will become ambassadors of this work and lead a number of the uh, community events, a lot of the community visioning sessions around uh, creating a plan for the future of bicycling in the Lower East Side in Chinatown. If you know anybody that likes bicycling, you should tell them to come and join the program Local Spokes. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.